Hello, it's Markham and Torch Chief from Markham 3D. Let's do some stuff. Let's create... Let's continue on with our short film. <sighs> it's day three. I actually probably need to finish animating by tomorrow. And I really haven't started on the animation process. Um, I will do this now. So if you, know, you guys are watching this on repeat, we can actually see. Just want to make sure this is public. It is public. So this is where we are. So what I did is I did facial motion capture. I did uh, motion capture using the VR headset, um, the Oculus Rift using Glycom. This character is from Reillusion. And I do have a bit of cleanup to do. The face isn't too bad. I'm quite happy with the face. Um, let me just bring that up. Now, I'm not sure if you can hear the audio. Hopefully you can. But what I'll do is I'll just go back to the start and press. You can see that the shoulder is a little bit out of whack, but I should be able to just move that around. And so that shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I can just pick up some of the bones and just rotate them as a whole. Um, and that shouldn't be a problem. So hopefully I can do that quick. I've got a few more scenes to do. Um, but probably tonight what we'll work on is the actual drone itself. <sighs> so much work to do. So I'm going to start off by creating a UV sphere. Because I want this drone to be kind of um, circular. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to be not semi lazy, but I'm going to be, th let's think a little bit smarter. Um, let me just go into D drive, 3d assets. Let's come over here into models. Unfortunately, can't hear the blender audio. Dang nabbit. Mm, let's try this and see if it works. Wait. That better? <laughs> Howdy, howdy, welcome back. Um, so there we go, that's just kind of what the animation's going to do. I need to clear that up. That's only one of the scenes. I've still got another six scenes to go, but I can just quickly import it. I know what I need to do. Um, there's two different rigs to this character, which I've got to merge. The, um, still not a dang it. You, the piece of the something. Stream, the uh, output, audio. Audio, 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 stream, Ollie, audio, streaming audio tracks. Maybe you, no, that's on. I don't know. Let's click on. Sorry, I'm just going to quickly see what I can do. Properties. You're horrendous. Let's try this one. Advanced audio properties. One. Close. Let's try it one more time. Back to the start. okay to start thank you maybe it's a little bit too um low i think maybe that's what the problem is oh maybe because i've got the volume turned down maybe it's a myriad of things <laughs> so, are we good to go no, no, stop look is it okay to start thank you all right so that's pretty much what we got at the moment. Like I was saying, this is all motion capture data. Now I just got to go back and clean it up a bit. Explain the IK rig. What do you, what do you want to know? Yeah. Okay. I got to fix that. I'll fix that at a later point. Um, whoa, 13 people already. Cool beans. So as I was going to say, um, this is all from Reillusion. This is um, using the VR headset, using the uh, uh, Glycon application. Let's all clean it up. But what I actually need to do is actually work on the drone. Um, from here, I'm actually going to go into Greebles. Let's have a look at what I actually own in terms of Greebles, because then I can kind of hurry it up a little bit. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we have? I've got, I don't know what this is. File, import, FBX. Let's check this out. Um, an arm. I'm just going to import it. Let's just 
well, let's just have a look. Howdy, howdy. Okay, so while that's coming in, um, yeah, I might just throw Greeble at him, and then we'll rig it. And the way, the reason why I'm going to just have um, the ball itself is going to be the head, and then I'm going to have two arms coming off it. Now, somewhere. Okay, there it is. Ah, oh, that's it. Yeah, let's control it that. That's too high poly for me. Let's come into check something else. I should have most of this imported in. That's a gig file. Nick, optics. I need an optics. Okay, let's grab this. Let's check it out. Keller, howdy, howdy. Just going. Okay, so let's have a look through this Greeble set. What can we steal? I mean, what can we acquire? There's a nice lens in here that we could probably take. Uh, do, 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 all the little bits and pieces. Oh, what's that? Is that an arm? That semi looks like an arm that I could probably take. I do like this piece. Uh, mm, I'm not sure about that. Let's go check another Greeble kit. Um, let's go check Andrew Hodge. Oh, I don't have it installed dang it okay andrew uh who's this one? Oh, sorry i missed that one scotty howdy welcome so we're just going through greeble kits see what i can acquire just to kind of hopefully speed up the modeling process um is there any other pieces in here that i like mm. 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 okay here we go aha all right so we've got plenty of pieces in here um, I do have a video on how to acquire these Greebles. Some of them are for free. Some of them are not. So unfortunately, got to pay for them. Uh, what do we got? Anything that's looking nice? Anything that's sticking out? There's a claw there. Mm, that's not too bad. Oh, gosh. Oh, golly, 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 gosh. Let's check out one more. One more set, and then we'll continue on. So that's Andrew Avakin. Adrian Ogowski, he does have cameras. I'm just going to open up that one quickly, and then we'll check one more as well. Tor, how are you doing? Welcome. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Where are all my pieces? Are they all very, very close? I don't know. Nope. Okay. That is interesting. I don't know where all my things are. Uh, let's just press N. N. Oh, this is an old blend file. All right, stuff here. I won't open up that one. One more. Nick. Did we open up Nick? Yes, we did. Did we open up this one, which is a gig file? Let's open it up. So much to see. So much to do. If not, we will have to start winging it. Um, did I, I did, I closed Blender. No, here it is. Um, the reason why they're all, they're all opening up in a Blender 2.7, uh, 7, 9 is because that's just where I converted them. Mm, mm, that's something that would look nice on a drone. I mean, a lot of these pieces would look nice on a drone. I do like this camera thing. What is that? It's kind of like a spotlight. Oh, actually could probably rig that come on stop being silly we could probably make that as a screen or something let's check it out did this one open it sure did oh my so this is kind of like maybe oh 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 oh, oh. who are you Olgan Ushnok this isn't too bad I reckon we could acquire some of this stuff I like that piece there we got lots of covers, which are looking nice. What is this thing? I don't know what that is, but that's looking schmick. Okay. All right. Let's cheat galore. I'm going to grab this piece in here. So let's go box select. Control J to join. Oh, no, don't do that. Control Z. Control Z. 
Are you happy with me? What are those? These are all Greeble sets that I've acquired over the years. So Shift D, I'm just going to move that over. And then I'm going to Control J on that. What I'm going to do is come up to Origin, set Origin to Origin to Geometry. There we go. Oh, jeez, that's so high poly. <laughs> oh, that's too high poly for me, I think. Um, it's going to go into Object Data. Normals, auto, auto smooth's already turned on. Hmm. Cool, that is way too holy. Yep, all right, let's just make it. Don't save, come on, get out of here. One, and two, get out, get out. Don't save, don't save. Okay, so from here, let's come into this section. Um, what I'm gonna do is probably, let's go knife, C, Z, cut that off control Z knife said C to make sure it goes through the whole mesh enter I can't do a V because I went like that okay let's press V to rip control L delete vertices so we've kind of got the bottom of it taken out um, you have to remember from yesterday when we created our pods which are these ones here it, that's where it will be sitting in there so I can't make the back end too much I think I'll probably make it flat so I'm gonna grab all this section there G actually press to O to turn on proportional editing let's grab it so it's kind of like so cool beans let's add in our uh, cylinder rotate X 90 degrees turn off that proportional editing I'm just gonna move that up for a brief moment let's grab I to do an ins oh I to do an inset bring that in E to extrude I again E to extrude let's do control B to do a bevel and then I'm gonna make it like this so it's more of a sphere and then we're going to grab this circle and well let's cut that one so let's just select that I'm gonna press V to rip let's come back into here let's select that and this circle in here turn on proportional editing again and make sure we're only affecting connected only scale on the Y and so now what I'm just kind of doing is a camera lens. Lovely jubblies. Let's grab all that O G Y. All right, whoops. What's going on there? All right, so I'm fairly happy with that. Let's go shade smooth, come down into this thing. Where are we? Object data. Let's go normals, auto smooth, lovely. What I'm going to throw is I'm going to throw on a subdivision surface. Let's delete that face because we don't need that face. In here, I'm just going to put an edge loop and then we'll control B and just put a small bevel. And there we go as well. So how's that looking? Nice. So that's going to be kind of like the main sensors. Hello, Michael. Welcome, welcome, buddy. Um, from there, I think we will probably attach how many, how many lenses should we have? Should we have, whoops, let's just select all that. Scale 0.5. And we will grab all that. I'm gonna bring that in. And I do want it to kind of off center. G, Y. And then let's go, kind of give it a bit of a personality, if you know what I mean. And we will grab it like that. And let's just put a smaller camera in there. G, X, whoops, sorry, G, Y. Push that back in to about there. Lovelies. Um, now I'm gonna make it when it's speaking. Hello, Onat. Uh, when it's speaking, it's gonna be kind of like a voice synthesize sound. Aldo, welcome. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you like and subscribe and help me get to that 25,000 mark. Or even just hit the like button so more people come. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put kind of like a voice synthesizer. How am I going to do that? So I do have a tutorial on how to do the voice synthesizing. 
Um, but I'll actually have to go back and watch that because I actually can't remember how to do it. Um, most of the tutorials I create um, is for my future future Marco because present Marco normally forgets. Um, so that's why it's good. And most of my tutorials are very short, sharp to the point. It's, you want to know how to do this? This is how you do it. Rather than having to repeat the same actions. I can't stand a tutorial that goes, this is how you install Blender. No, I didn't come here to install Blender. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Oh boy. Oh boy. Subdivision surface. Lovely. I think, I reckon we might get rid of these back faces here. So let's get rid of this one, this one, this one. No, no. Come on, buddy. Let's get rid of all that. See how he runs. Have you ever seen a rascal run? Er, er, er. Okay, let's just grab all that. This one, this one, this one, this one. Delete face. Yeah, cool beans. And then what we can do is I'll probably put some some sort of components in there when we actually go back to the um, Greeble kits and we'll see if we can find something just to chuck it in there. Definitely we'll be creating some arms in here. So we'll put some pockets um, and we'll come down and we'll fix up uh, the topology down here. Actually, you know what, let's do that now before we forget. What I will do is come up to the top here, V, there we go. I'm gonna press V to rip, Control L, delete vertices. Let's go back in, add that mirror modifier, and then we'll throw that up the top. And then that way, whatever I do on one side, does it on the other. So let's go this here, Alt M center. Alt M center, let's, I want to, actually let's go like this, Alt M center, and I'll bring that one down, Alt M last. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So we've got all squares now, and if we go into wireframe, oh lovely, that actually doesn't, oh, we've got a triangle there, dang it. Oh, we've got two triangles, dang it. Wasn't paying attention, so let's just go subdivide. Ooh, that's not gonna work, is it? Mm. All right, well, you know what? I'm just gonna leave that for now. I'll probably forget, but that's fine. Um, from here, let's add in a cylinder. Whoops, not there. Shift S, curse world origin. Whoa. Like this, rotate X, Y, 90 degrees. And then we'll bring that G, X. Scale shift X, so it just goes on the X and Y. Let's bring that like so, G, X. How's that looking? That looks not too bad. Let's add that mirror modifier in on the side. Um, shift S, cursor to selected. Let's put in a ball joint. Something like that. Rotate Y 90 degrees, so we've got a ball joint. Select this, press I to do an inset, and then we'll extrude that in. And then so, yeah, that'll, I think that needs to come out then, G, X. So something like that. Okay, shade smooth. I'm just trying to think the design. Uh, do the nerd. Auto smooth like so. I will do a small little bevel on there. Probably should do that later. And maybe let's throw in a subdivision surface. Make it a little bit cleaner. I want to get rid of this back face because we don't need this back face. Delete faces. Nice, nice. Probably bring that down. And then what we'll do is we get to come into this body and then kind of start moving up some of the vertices. Mm, maybe we'll just do a Boolean thingy. Not Boolean. Yeah, Boolean. So we'll come back and we'll cut that out later. Or we might just select everything. Oops. G, X. There we go. All right, cool beans. So the arms, what are the arms gonna do? It's gonna be kind of claws. It's gonna, how's it gonna pivot? It's gonna pivot one arm so let's just quickly block this out shift s curse word origin cube scale size on the x g x so it's just going to kind of sit like that wrapping around it 
and then cursor, sorry, whoops, cursor to selected, add in a cylinder, shift Z, G, X, probably something like that. Control L, shift D, e, X. And then this bit here will be ever so slightly smaller. Mm, how do I feel about that? I'm just, well, I'm just blocking it at the moment. And then we will have what kind of hands? Maybe just three pincers like that. Meep, 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 meep. Do I just make them? There we go. That's how I do it. Okay. <laughs> just playing with my hands. I'm trying to work out how I'm going to rig it. So what I'll do is I'll have two claws. Can you see my claws? Yep. Can you see, um, I'll have two claws and then one that goes in the middle. And then that way it's got the grasping that can come around. Yeah, let's go like that. Okay, so let's stick with the cylinder theme. So I'm just going to select this. Control L, Shift D, P, separate by selection. And now I've got our sphere by ourselves. Whoops, not that one. That one there. And what we'll do is let's scale that up. Select, actually you, buddy, can go by. Select that. Let's go V to rip. Um, let's grab this side, Control L, delete vertices because I don't need that side. And what we'll do is I'm just going to purge some of these. Hang on. How big is this sphere? 16. So let's go four, keep four, get rid of four. One, two, three, four. Let's get rid of four. Keep four. One, two, three, four. Get rid of four. Did I stuff up somewhere? Four. 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 Oh, that's no, fine. Cool beans. All right, let's go delete faces. Bear with me. Um, dun -dun, I need to check. Come on. All right. And so that will be kind of solidifier on there. Yeah, so that's kind of, it can rotate all around on the inside. Hmm. Bear with me once again, just somebody sending me a message of uttermost importance. Okay. I do like that idea. How are we going to control it? Probably, let's just say there's an internal mechanism in there that's controlling it. But definitely when I'm ringing it, I will get the center of this sphere. And then that's where the bone will come out. Yeah, cool beans. So let's go like that. Let's come into here and we'll create what kind? Maybe, maybe some sort of, I'm just trying to think. Let's go tab into edit mode. Let's create a plane, rotate X 90 degrees. I'm going to scale that P separate by selection because I don't want all these Modifier sitting on top and I don't want to solidify. So something like this scale size Z. Hola, Captain Awesome. Welcome. You sound like a chap that is awesome. I'm going to grab that and just kind of move it around. <laughs> move it around. Let's grab, actually, nope. Let's put edge loop here, slide X. Let's put a few more in there. This is going to be the uttermost boundary. How do we do this? I'm trying to remember. I need to grab these and go GG. 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 I think we definitely needs to be some more pieces in here. GG. 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 So by me pressing GG, it kind of goes off the, um, goes along the edges. 
I don't know if I'm going to like this. Let's grab this scale on the X, G, X. I'm going to move that over. Scale on the X, G, X. Bring that over, G, X. Is that arm going to be long enough? I think it should be. Shift D. Let's grab and we'll do one more. G, G. Whoop, G, G. Whoop, G. Done something wrong there, haven't I? G? What on earth have I done? Okay, let's just delete vertices. Ah, I did. Okay, that's what I did. I duplicated the edges. So that's why I was having a bit of a hissy fit. GG. 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 Um, Diesh. Imencia. Imenia? Mancia? Marco. Hey! Ja sam hrvat isto. Ne možem pričat. Um, pisat. Čitat. <laughs> Alright, so let's grab... I'm going to grab this section. I'm going to press I to do an inset. And then let's grab this section. I'm going to do I to do an inset. Let's grab this section in here. I to do an inset. And see if you guys can guess what I'm doing here. I to do an inset. And I'll do one, oops, let's grab this section in here. E to extrude on the x-axis. I'm just going to quickly do one more. I to do an inset, delete, delete faces. And let's go do the same for here, delete faces. How does that look? Does that look fine? I think that looks fine. I think it looks okay. I think it needs to have kind of like a bit of a, a bend of some sort. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just select everything. W subdivide, subdivide, oh, not too much. Let's grab probably here-ish. And I'm going to grab this section. Uh, let's go back and we'll remove these vertices. I'm going to go into 3D cursor. O for proportional editing, and let's go rotate. Yeah, it's not too bad. Mmm, mmm, spicy. Okay. All right. Okay, it's it's coming along. I got. Oh yeah, yeah, I got this. I got this. I got this frame structure yes yes let's grab this section and let's go g on the y it's semi not working is it it's not working as well as i hoped hmm mm -mm. ah turn off connected let's do that now G on the Y. <gasps> Much better. It's not as... Let's go the other way. No, no, no. Let's go the other way. Silly Marco. Come on. Let's grab the top and bottom edges. G, Y. Whoops. O, G, Y. G, Y. Ah, uh, far out. No, I gotta do it with a cylinder. I think. Oh, do I? Does it look good? I don't know. Like the idea is there, but then if I put like a structure in there, that means I'm gonna put crud in there. I don't have time for crud. All right, let's. You know, what? I'm not happy with that at all. So let's come back into here. Select that. Actually, we'll select this shift s cursor to selected what i would do is add in a cylinder let's do a little bit of lazy stuff scale um, let's grab this g on the x about there i reckon i'm gonna grab this i'm gonna grab this let's grab them control b i mean control r in the middle like that scale 
scale shift X so it doesn't go along the x-axis there we go nice let's go shade smooth come over here into object data auto smooth there we go just a little bit of extra love um, and then from in here we will come back in and let's just create some panels around it I think that will get us through from here from here we need to extend the arm hmm mm. how are we going to do this this is the question what are we going to look like 31 people if you're new to the channel welcome make sure you like and subscribe creating a short film in 10 days for a short film festival here in canberra where i'm located um and it's day three and we've got a little bit of motion capture let me just go back to what i've accomplished so far this is motor cash this is using reillusions character creator motion live face like live face with <laughs> reillusion um do you know what beautiful exactly all the way am i wearing it i am beautiful <laughs> um and then i use the vr headset now i gotta go back in and clean all this up but this is what it looks like let me just turn up that audio for the desktop Are we good to go? No, no, stop. Look, is it okay to start? Thank you. And so we're going to work with that. Um, and I'll probably clean up later, but I actually need the drone, which will be sitting. What is that? Okay. And the drone is kind of what he's talking to. So I need to kind of start getting that into the scene. Okay, let's go. What else? What else we got? Uh, do I like that piece? It's not too bad. I reckon I might... Look, let's just throw a few more greebles in just while we're here. Scale. Uh, probably on the back here. I'm going to E to extrude. Let's go scale that in. E to extrude. And then E. Something like that. I to do an inset and E to go through. And so that's just given a little bit of extra geometry, a little bit of pizzazz. Um, and maybe we will actually, let's copy this and shift D and we'll probably place it about there as well. Just so, look at that. It's just like such a little simple thing, but it's given it a little bit of extra depth there. The joint, how are we gonna do a joint? Now I think probably kind of two pieces and then with the main shaft in the middle, but it's got to it's got to have some sort of control unit there. So that's something we got to think about. And I can't just stuff rigging special things up. I just want to have a bendy elbow. So maybe maybe we'll follow the same process here. Let's go select all that. Actually, let's grab these two. Shift D, G X. Okay, go away, buddy. Don't need you. Rotate Z. What did I do? Ah, whoops. That one there. Let's just so solidify on that one. I've just apply. Ooh, what happened there? Why are you ugly? Right, that's why. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the subsurf and I'll put them on later. So let's join these two. Control J. Ah, dang it. Oh, whatever. Rotate Z 180. Rotate Z 180. What are you doing? Let's bring that over. GX scale. There we go, so it sits like that as well. And so we kind of got the same ball joint that we do have here as well. Give me some water. Red Bull is out. It is 20 past 10. And look at me, stupid enough, green drink bottle lid. Captain Glover. Um, from here, I think maybe, maybe we could extend that up a bit. How's that? That's looking not too bad. I don't want to take this again, even though that it does look quite nice. 
I think maybe what we might do is I'm thinking I'm thinking shift S cursor word origin shift a let's add in a cylinder scale rotate y 90 degrees G Y X let's go like this let's do this let's do something a little bit crafty well we should be doing crafty stuff constantly but anyway so I'm gonna grab this GX because just like our human arm bones we've got kind of like two bones in the forearm shift D Y actually what I do is I'm just gonna delete that mirror modifier let's throw the mirror modifier on the Y axis there we go mm, spicy shade smooth let's come down into auto smooth nice and then we can probably put in some greebles in like so rotate X 90 degrees yeah like that and then wrist joint we will put ball let's grab this thing again shift D on the X cool beans E to extrude and let's probably bring that in G X scale that come on grab that grab it grab it buddy let's grab this delete vertices let's grab that delete vertices and scale that in E on the X there we go just something going to nowhere that doesn't look too bad I'm fairly chuffed with that control a location 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 and location so we just set all the locations and now if I wanted to I can come in and set all the mirror modifiers on anything everything okay if you have any questions as I'm going along please don't feel feel free to ask um, if you've got any solutions any solutions any ideas okay GG GG Feel free to pipe up. Nice, it doesn't look too bad. Definitely some sort of clawing system. How would a clawing system work? So if we go into merge cylinder, GX, let's scale that in. GX, size Z. Let's put that in there. Control B to do a bevel. Mm. I don't know how confident I feel about this. Like so. Let's maybe move it off. Shift S, cursor selected. Let's add in a cube like this. G Z, scale on the X. G X, scale on the Z. That's what I want. Shift D. Have I stuffed something up here? I have. Okay. So the bottom parts here is what's going to hold it. So maybe I'm just going to grab everything. G, Z. Let's bring it all the way down. Control L, G, Z. Bring that all the way up. And we'll grab these. Scale on the Z. Let's grab these. Scale on the Z. Yeah, nice. Nice definitely bring these two in control L scale Y there we go and so we're gonna have our claws so thumb goes in there okay so let's grab all these sections in here this one this one this one this one and this one control B and then I'm going to do like so 
and then control numpad minus alt s to bring that in v to rip all right let's just go shade smooth come over here into auto smooth lovely jubblies and then i'm going to grab probably these three scale x something like that oops did i nope that's fine scale shift z yeah actually whoa psh, come on that's gonna be a lot bigger so let's grab all this and all this. Mm. Now let's do it all over again. E to extrude. Is that too big now? And we will come in, grab, oops, nope, two. Let's grab that section in there. Tommy Slav, where are you from, buddy? Let's come through this bit and I'm going to grab this section if Tommy Slav's still here. No, scale shift is. Oops. Scale shift Z. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'll accept that. And obviously the hands can rotate all the way around if need be. And what I'm going to do is pretty much duplicate this claw. Um, what we might actually do is probably put in some um, like rubber things in here. So let's go Shift D on that. I'm just going to go G Y and hold Control so it snaps out a little bit, it's just so I can work on it itself. I'm going to press W to subdivide, subdivide. I'm going to press. I'm going to get rid of probably. Let's go like that. Let's control L and I'm going to do like that. Let's grab the outside, insert vertices. Let me, just in case somebody wants, like they did the other night, screencast keys. Uh, let's select everything, control I, turn them on and let's do insets and do individual inset. Hide, select all that, control L, delete the vertices, Alt H to unhide. You didn't like that, did you? Okay. Well, fine. Let's just go like so. Oh, you're a jerk, aren't you? Of course you're going to do this. Let's come into. Let's come into and select select all this and then what I'm just going to do is delete all the vertices and that should delete all these little pieces delete vertices you little ripper let's select all this now control L G Y E to extrude like so and now what we kind of have is a hand joint like a finger joint that has a whole bunch of um, rubber tips so it can actually you know grip things so you're not just steel on steel I guess okay so from here what I'm gonna do is grab don't know what I just did one let's select everything control L shift D Rotate 180. Let's do that again. I'm going to get this sphere. Shift S, cursor to selected. Now let's come in here, select all this, control L. Let's come up into 3D cursor. Shift D, scale Y minus 1. And then I'm going to push this up to about here. No, 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 you'll stop. 
and then we will just kind of do this. Lovely, Shift D, Z. Okay, how's that looking? There we go, it's not too bad. Let's come in here, let me grab this section, delete vertices. Oh, no, 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 no. So what I'll do is come into here, I'm gonna select all this, delete faces. And then what I'm gonna do is select these two edges and click face. Select this edge and just press F. Really? You don't want to go around? Why? Hang on, I've done something wrong here. Is there a face in there? There is a face in there. Delete face. Ah, that's why, because there's a face in there. Select that edge, delete face. And now in the hopes, if I can select these two faces, and then I can press F and go all the way around. Lovely. And then let's come into here and here face. And then we've got to do that on the top bit as well. Um, three in there, delete face. That's too high, so let's just quickly grab that, delete face. Ah, the top sections. Oh no, you idiot. Dang it, Bobby. Medium point, so I had it on individual. You know what, that's, I reckon that'll work out fine. Let's just grab all this. C, I'm just gonna grab all these faces control L deselect all these scale on the Z and what are we at what's that scale I can see down in there we go so 0.75 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then we'll do the same thing that we just did just then I'm just going to select everything with C, 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 Control L, D, select all this, scale Z, 0.75, lovely. And this is too big, the top bit is too big. Control L, Control L, Control L, it's weird. Scale on, oh no, that's fine. Oh, I deleted the wrong thing, you stupid idiot. Delete faces, oh, no I didn't, did I? Yeah, you numpty, you numpty. All right, well anyway, let's grab that section. And we'll grab that section, scale on the Z. Yeah, it's a small problem. We're not, nobody's gonna see that. Oh, yeah, cool, let's go with that. Definitely we'll put something in here afterwards. Um, for now, let's work on this thing here. So this shell, we definitely need to put something in there. Mr. Brian, welcome. Yeah, we got to definitely put something in there. Uh, Poly Workshop, what's in Poly Workshop? Ah, oh, just a 650 meg file. <sighs> it's hot. It is hot in Australia. Or it's just hot in this room. Is the computer working hard? Sure is. Okay, let's have a look. Is there anything we can steal? I want to put something in the back of it. Mm, nothing's tickling my fancy in here. So let's close that one. Let's go to, I don't have Miss Master Zion in here. Dang it. Slightly annoying. French monkey, what do you got French monkey? Runways, objects, oh, come on. So if I just quickly scroll through anything of interest, mm, nothing, no, no. Come on, I'm just trying to find something, some sort of big piece that I can just put in the back. 
If you're new to the channel, once again, welcome. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. You know you want to. Um, what can we grab? Is there anything spicy in here? We can probably just steal something like that, I guess. Just some sort of cover. Okay, what do we got in here? I like that piece. That's a nice piece. This is cool. That's cool. Geometry wise, what is that? Oh my goodness, the geometry! I've got an idea. How about I save this? Far <laughs> out. Uh, characters, this is YT13. Oops, caps lock is on. YT13. There we go. Gosh, terrible. Uh, do we want to grab that piece? Is that, that is horrendous as well. It's too high poly. I don't want something to, ah, oh, just make something up. Okay, whoops, wrong scene. Into here. What do we got? So I'm happy with that. Let's, you know what, let's just splice this up. I'm going to shift D on that. Let's come over into modifiers. Let's go into solidify, modify. Offset will be zero. And then I'm going to go like this, control B. Delete faces. There we go. It's a little bit better. In through here, control B. Delete faces. Ah, you're a jerk, aren't you? Darn that solidifier modifier. Okay, let's get rid of... Oh, let's just go undo all this. Okay, good. I'm going to apply the mirror, apply the subdivision. And then what we'll do is we'll come back in and delete that. V to rip, control L, delete vertices, come back in, mirror modifier, mirror modifier. Lovely, let's come into here. And now we can do the same thing we were just doing, control B, and we shouldn't have any issues. And we'll grab this section, control B, delete faces. Auto smooth. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Let's come into this section in here. In there. Control B. Delete faces. Did I delete the... Where's the sphere? Where's the original sphere? Oh, it is there. Oh, it is there. Okay, sorry. I thought I was seeing through the mesh. Which would have been annoying. Um, but there we go. Now I've quickly created some extra geometry. I think we should probably put a top plate on here. So I'm going to kind of grab these here. E to extrude Z. Scale Z zero. And then I'm going to put an edge loop around. Hang on. I picked the wrong one. I wanted that one. There we go. So let's come back into here. And let's just go, no, I can't do that. So I'm just going to grab this top section and probably one more E to extrude, scale Z zero. Oh, far out. Let's come back into there. Let's turn on clipping E to extrude Z. And then we will select this edge loop around the base. Control B to do a bevel. Nice. Did I, I did not. So what I wanted to do is grab this top part. And for those of you who joined me yesterday with this, in the actual scene, it's kind of got like a power plug that it can sit into. So as it slides in, it's kind of there. Um, if we go into rendered view, will this work? Oh, we're in Eevee. Cycles. And then we can see that we've got these cool um, blue light 
glowing things in here. Um, I still got to do the lighting for the interior. The warm material is too scaled, so we got to fix that as well. Let's turn that off. That doesn't look too bad. It looks quite nice. Mm, spicy. Okay, let's continue to work on. So there needs to be kind of three holes in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab three holes. Actually, mm, mm, I'm trying to think how I'm going to do this. Because obviously three holes, one's here, and then one's here with the mirror modifier. That's annoying. I think I might just make two kind of pins that sit above it. Um, let's... What should we do? Should we kind of... Oh, you know what? That looks ugly. Undo. How far back can I go? Come on. Come on. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't approve of that one. That one looked ugly. I just feel that it needs to be something, some more stuff on the back here. Less is more. Yada yada. Um, maybe, maybe we'll work on the interior. So let's go Shift S Curse. Shift S Curse World Origin. Let's go Mesh. Let's add in a UV sphere. Nice. It kind of fits in there well. And then what are we going to do in here? So let's grab this loop here. Actually, let's put in like this. Control B. E to extrude scale on the Z. And um, let's go smooth. Object data auto smooth in there. Um, and probably we'll just create a whole bunch of greeble pieces. What can we do? What can we do? Let's start working. Okay, cube. Cube's always good. G, X, Y. Okay, G, Z kind of sits out like that. Scale on the Y axis. G, Y. Push that in. Um, let's go. Control R, do an edge loop. V to rip. Control L, delete vertices. Let's come into here. Add modifier. What's that button? Mirror modifier, shift A. Let's add in another cube. Scale that. There we go. Okay, so now let's turn on clipping. And then I'm just going to start putting some cubes around. Definitely not the default cube because we don't trust the default cube, do we? No. Okay. Oh, that's a dirty seam, isn't it? Ah, that's why. So let's quickly slice our sphere in half. One, two, one. Okay. And two, V to rip. Come over here, control L, delete vertices. And now we should have wonderful lineage in there. Cool. Um, let's come back into this section. Um, probably, what are you doing? Let's now turn off clipping for a little bit. Shift A. Cylinder, rotate X 90 degrees. G, Y, X, Y. Come on, baby. Come on, Blender, work with me, buddy. Cool. And then this will kind of be maybe some nozzles. E to extrude in like so. Let's grab something like that, put in an edge loop here, edge loop in here. Let's select all this. I, I, I. Not like that. Let's go individual origins. E to extrude. Now let's go in. Okay, shade smooth. Nice. Probably could go a bit bigger, so let's beef this up G and we'll throw that in um, what we might do is make it so it covers one of the it's oh, not really going to go is it I don't know how many times you actually see the back of it so it might be you know wasted hope but let's just do something like that probably grab this E to nope 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 don't do that 
Okay, um, we'll probably put some wires and such and around. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Let's just quickly Google uh, sci-fi drones. Let's see if we can get some inspiration images. Hello, I was waiting for this. Welcome. All right. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Look at that. Gorgeous. So we'll definitely put some of these pipes in here. Probably this part there. I like that part. Mm, mm, mm. Who's this by? Tor Frick. That is sick. So definitely we... Let's put in some of these kind of greebly pits, bits. Um, so let's grab this face. Shift D. Scale. Okay, let's go like this. G, Z, E to extrude. And then let's grab probably about... Uh, actually, no, let's scale that in a bit. Come on, buddy. Work with me. GY. Then I'm going to grab that GY, bring that in. Let's go like so. And then I'm going to put my 3D cursor there. Let's bring up the spin tool. Um, items on the X axis. Let's probably just go like so e to extrude and that'll sit in like that ah dang it you suck g y let's just push that out a little bit further and let's line it up with our engine nice i'm going to probably come about here control b let's select that and then let's come in and select these individual pieces control b again too much. E to extrude, Alt S. Nope. Don't do that. Let's go into medium point, Alt S. Sorry. E to extrude and Alt S. So something like that. Okay. So definitely we're going to be starting to add parts to the base here. I reckon what I might do is I might come here, Control B, do a bevel. And then we'll grab this section and shift Y. So it only kind of does that. And let's maybe grab this face, G, Y, E to extrude. Let's just scale that in and E. Definitely, there's got to be a lot of work here. Ah, oh, jeez, a lot of work. But this is the thing, might not even see the back. So, you know what, I'm going to leave the back as that for now because I can always come back. What is my Blender experience? I don't know, I've just been doing this for years and years. Um, currently, my actual profession is senior 3D and VR developer, um, primarily using Unreal Engine, um, but I'm more the 3D artist. I mean, I'm not making sci-fi stuff, unfortunately. But that's what we get. Okay, what I want to do, do I want to cut a hole here? I kind of do want to cut a hole there, but I don't want to cut a hole there. I actually, I might leave it as is. Now, the reason for that is if I've got time, I can always come back because I've only got 10 days. I've, I've got seven days left. Sunday. Eight days, seven days. Let's just say seven days left. Um, and I want to do minimal thingy animating so let's leave it at that shift s okay minimal 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 let's go minimal vial product i don't know about these hands i think i'm gonna have to come back to that i think they really should be more sophisticated yeah that looks like crud doesn't it let's put an edge loop let's select at alt m Merge by distance, 88 vertices, that's fine. Let's grab that and grab that. I'm going to grab these two. Come on. Grab these two and I'm just going to go G. Just to give it a little bit of extra depth. Let's do it on the same here. Okay, what are we looking at? All right. 
It's giving it a bit of extra depth. Definitely, there should be, there should be, there's got to be <laughs> these cubes here. Not the biggest fan of them, but look, we're going to make do. Uh, you're amazing. You have a wonderful knowledge and a kind heart. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. No worries, mate. Like and subscribe. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, let's go now. Let's start doing stuff. Let's go mirror modifier. That's mirrored. This needs to be mirrored. 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 This part here needs to be... Mirrored. This part here needs to be mirrored. Mirrored. And then this whole section here needs to be mirrored. Mirrored. Eh, mirrored. How's that looking? Okay, let's go control LP separate by selection. I don't need this to have solidifier. Control LP, separate by selection. Select that. That doesn't need mirror. I mean, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's do the same. I oh, know I've already done that. Cool beans. What I do, what I wanted to do was on that section there, let's throw in the subdivision surface and we'll take that to the top. Do the same for this bit here. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. But once again, I ain't got time. I do not have enough time. What's going on here? That's fine, that's fine. Let's keep it at that. We will, if I have to, I'll come back and work on that. Let's now start applying everything. Apply, apply. Apply, 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 apply. Oh yeah, there's meant to be an apply or modifies thing, isn't there? I did a tutorial on it. I can't remember. I'm gonna just go for it now. Okay, cool beans. And now if I select everything, I want the body to be there, control. Apply, 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 apply. There we go. And then we will select the body, control J to join, shift, shift S, curse toward origin, shift A. What's that thing? Single bone. Let's do it out in front. Visibility, no. Viewport, dis no. Viewport display in front. There we go. And so the next bit here, I need to select this. Shift S cursor to selected. Come back into here. Shift A, and that'll add a new bone in. And then what that'll do is I come into this, Control L, Shift S cursor to selected. Shift S selection to cursor. And then I can do another extrude. Come back into here, Control L, Shift S cursor to selected. Shift S selection to cursor. So now everything's lined up on those ball joints. The hands. This I don't know what that was. Let's grab this top section here. Shift S cursor to selected. And then we go Shift A. What are we at? What are we at? Zero. Nope, no, no, no. Tail needs to be zero. 90? No, you suck. Really? You're not gonna... Actually, I can just do that. Control copy, control V. Okay, geez, I'm just gonna put it like that. 
because that's going to be this back claw e to extrude and then that'll be our thumb so let's just quickly name our pieces oh, I didn't do it on the other side oh that's fine so what you can do is go shift s cursor to selected let's select these pieces shift d scale x minus one no you jerk scale x minus one there we go so now we've got both hands oh, i should have named them anyway so let's go bone this one is head upper dot l lower dot l 2f 1f so two fingers one m oh yeah dot l dot l and then we're going to do upper right upper dot dot r lower dot r and which one's which f2 uh, sorry 2f dot f dot r 1f dot r okay cool beans so now what i can do is i can select this model and then select that Control p set with empty groups i don't want it to auto rig and then this is how we will do this so to start off with we go into where's our groups so here are all our vertex groups from our mesh and let's grab what we need so for instance i know that this and this control l let's grab all that control l in here control l this will be the head assign and i'm just going to hide that because i no longer need that let's go b i want this and i want that control l let's go into wireframe mode grab all this Control L, the spheres, yes, will be coming with me as well. Control L, and that'll be assigned to the head, H. And now this, all this will be here, will be upper L, Control L, and the sphere, Control L. What's that? Control L. I've got everything I need, so that's going to be upper L assign hide oops we've got a piece there control l upper l so this is how we're rigging mechanical things control l did i get everything i got everything i need this is lower l ah oh, mr bone no i don't think i have to reassign everything i think it's okay okay so let's go back into this section here no come in there come on come on you dirty jerk i'm just trying to find a nice round point that's not a round point that's a round point shift s cursor to selected what is that zero i'm trying to work out so i'm just trying to line everything up so that's z zero so if i go into view location z will be zero if i go e to extrude shift s cursor to selection there we go this band this hand this bone will be hand dot l and we'll go do that on the other side as well while we're here quickly in there shift s cursor to selected oh and then what i got to do is i got to change the uh convert all yes that's what it was i knew there was something um let's come into view z is zero come back into this thing e sh shift s cursor to selection so there we go so that's now correct 
these bones here, their parent, whoops, let's rename this quickly, hand dot R. So your parent is hand R, hand R, hand L, hand L. Let's grab that, that, and then that control, control P with empties. Um, let me just make sure I don't have to redo everything. I don't think I need to. Sweet candy. Um, let's go back into edit mode. Oops, it's back into object mode, back into edit mode. We're almost there. Let's grab this, this, this. Actually, just grab all that. Control L. That there. And the one on the bottom. Control L. No, you jerk. Okay, let's fix that up. In there, there's an edge loop. Press V to rip. Ah, oh, that's right, because we merged vertices before. So that's why that was there. Control L, that one, and that one. Control L. We will assign that to hand left. Cool beans, hide. And then we'll grab, whoops, let's just make sure we grab all this. Control L. Get stuffed. Come into there and there and there. V to rip. And now we can come back in here, select, select all this. Control L. This is 2L. Hide. This one is 1L assign and hide. Let's now quickly do the other section. So we'll grab all this, control L, also the sphere and this piece, control L. That is upper right, hide, control L, and the sphere, control L. This is lower, hide. Uh, I gotta rip these as well now, so just bear with me. That one, that one, that one, and that one. V to rip. Okay, grab this, grab this, grab all this, control L. What am I doing? That's hand right, hide. And then we grab all this, control L. This would be two finger assign, hide, and then the rest is one finger assign. All right, so now let's, <laughs> let's test it out. Okay, pose mode, rotate. Nope, 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 whoops. Let's go this way. Medium point, rotate Z. Yeah, cool, that looks not too bad. So something like that. And obviously you kind of, you can do joints all the way. And so there we go, whoops. Rotate ZZ, nope, YY, XX. Oops, rotate XX. Rotate XX, YY, ZZ. Oops, if we go into object mode, let's remove that front. Oh my goodness, come on. In front. So there we go, I think I butchered these hands a little bit. Ah, that's my whatevs. But anyway, that's, it's not too bad, not too shabby. I'm happy with it, it'll do. I'm not gonna worry about that, oh, oh, oh gee. Okay. Oh, it's 11 o'clock. On the rocket clock. Where are we at? How long have we been going for? An hour 20, is that all? Cheese and whiskers. So let's save that. 
what we're going to do, let me close that. And now, okay, go away. Don't need you for now. Let's go back into Blender. Let's, let me show you my process of bringing everything in. Um, so it's kind of weird because I do the motion capture in two ways. I do facial first, and then I went over and did the body in um, second. So I had kind of like the audio playing. Oh, I'm getting tired. Okay, scene six, scene eight. Let's do scene eight because this is a big one. So let's go file, save as straight away. Mocap, let's go scenes, scene eight. Save as. Uh, what's in scene eight? Where are we? We're in the cockpit. Yes. Cool beans. So we're in the cockpit for scene eight. Let's just save that one. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go file link because if I do some edits in um, the cockpit, it will go across all my scenes. Um, so we go to locations, cockpit, collections, cockpit ink, int. There we go. So this is my cockpit for now, but I'm definitely going to be going back in and fixing some of it. So let's go save in that. Let's go file. Now I want to import the FBX for my character. So unfortunately, well, actually, fortunately, what I'm doing is I'm just, when I'm doing the facial motion capture, I'm just saving the actual character itself rather than having my main character bring that one in and then getting the same character, bringing that one in and then re um, lining up the drivers. If I had a script, I wouldn't do that. But because I don't have a script, I won't be doing that. Okay, so we're doing scene eight, import. Now this will take a little bit. How are we this evening? I know I am stressing galore trying to get this project done. I would, I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow in about 10 hours, maybe, maybe a little bit more. I mean, a little bit less, no, maybe a bit more. 10, at about 9.30. Maybe 10 o'clock. Could be 11 hours-ish. Um, are we doing streams? So we have already actually taken off the day to try and get as much done as possible because I've calculated if this is a three-minute film and I've got 30 frames a second, that's five and a half thousand frames. And if I'm rendering at a minute a frame, that's 90 hours. Goal. Oh. So I got to start rendering. Um, so yeah, that's that's fun, isn't it? That's a lot of fun. So I'm going to try and have the animation done by Tuesday. So I'm going to do all day Monday, Monday evening, and try and finish it off. Um, but what we're going to do now is just go through the process of importing everything that I've got. So yeah, render farm, render farm. I would love to have a render farm. However, the problem is, is uploading probably gigs and gigs of files. Ugh. So, mm. and as well, I've got a lot of links to other add-ons. Oh, maybe I should just save it externally, save files externally and see what happens. I could try that. Come on, Blender. I reckon it's because I'm streaming. That's why this is having problems. Um, and this, I think this one as well is a pretty long file. Come on. Um, but yeah, so if we have, the, I don't even know what the project size is at the moment. Let's go over to here, moment to do. LCA, right click properties will tell me. So it's already at 1.4 gig and I've only got one scene, two scenes. Jeez. So be interesting, maybe, yeah, maybe if I bake it, uh, save all external files, maybe that might work. Um, but the textures for the characters themselves, 
16 meg, that doesn't sound right. I think they must be all in here. Ah, oh, yeah, they're all in there. Um, and if I'm just going to show you some of the textures. Ooh, that's a nice texture. Boots metallic. Yeah, whatever. So you don't really see his boots. Did you come in? All right, cool beans. So what I'll do is shift H to hide everything I don't need. And let's just quickly rig up this character. So I got to rig the character for every facial motion capture, but I don't really care about that because I've got auto rig pro. So viewport in front, nah. Auto rig pro. So if you want this, this is in the description below. Um, that I can hide, select everything. Oh, actually let's just fix up this shirt. Uh, let's see. See, there we go. Scale, oops, go proportional editing, shift Z, scale that up a little bit. Mouse wheel, where are you? Hold scale, and go GY, GX, GX. There we go. All right, now let's grab everything. The body gets selected objects. Let's turn on the armature so I can see what I'm doing quickly go add neck add chinny mc chin 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 add shoulders add wrists oops add spine add ankles wham bam thank you ma'am go hello everyone I think there's an Amazon render farm do you know about it yes there is you can do stuff like that um, oops. And then we will go just hide that from here. Let's just reline up these bones as well. If things get desperate, then I might look at that. Um, worst comes to worst. I will try and acquire another computer from some friends and go from there. Unfortunately, I've so my computer setup is I've got a Ryzen 3900, so I've got plenty of CPU, but I don't really have um, the GPU because I'm only running a GDX 980. Hopefully, if this channel goes a little bit better or this up, ah, this rig is stuffed. Let's do that again. Control Z. Um, if the starts, what? Let's put that there. Uh, let's move that forward a little bit. If uh, the channel starts picking up a little bit more, I'd definitely be trying to invest in a 2080 because um, I need some more oomph, especially for the second channel that I've got, which is physics simulations. Get stuffed. Um, so go check out that channel as well if you can. The link is in the description. Um, and that's just doing kind of like fluid simulation. So this isn't rotating correctly. Let's go like that. And let's try again. Match the rig. So what's happening is the knees aren't in the right spot. I think maybe I just got to move this bottom one down. Well, that's even worse. Okay, let's go. Let's grab this. G that way. Come on, buddy. That's fine. Fine, do that. I'm not used to this failing on me. It's just one of the, what? It's even what? Oh, it's not. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Is he standing in this one? I think he is. Dang it. Okay, what is going on? Come on. Ah, okay, let's try that. Let's try changing where the toes are pointing. No. Really? Come on. Stuff you, you jerk. All right, let's try and match the rig. So I'm just trying to get this rig working, make sure it's all handy dandy, cotton candy. See, it's a Facing the wrong way. Why? Why are you being a jerk? Okay, let's select all this. Scale X zero. What's going to happen now? If I just get matched rig. 
Ah, there we go. Sick. Um, so from here, what I can do is let's just check that this is fine. See, to me, that looks all fine. Then now I can come in, go into object mode, select all this. The rig is last. Go away cameras and lights. I don't need that rig. Far out. Um, underwear. Get rid of the underwear. We don't need underwear. <laughs> and then that. And now I can go up to skin. Shift S just to make sure. Bind. So yeah. Um, so now this is just going to quickly apply the rig to the mesh. Nope. Still going. You good? Nope. Still going. Thank you, Mr. Gecker. Welcome. We're getting there. It's getting there. Okay, we good? We good? We good? Nope, still calculating. Come on, buddy. Finish calculating. There we go. Lovely. All right, so now if we go into pose mode, let's just check. Nice. That's looking fine. Let's go in solid. Cool. Okay. All right. Now I'm trying to remember. So select the other rig. So with bringing it in, so I've got this jawbone in here and that jawbone kind of controls obviously this section here. Um, let's go into edit mode and I don't need kind of, I don't need the bottom half, I don't think. Oops, I deleted too much. Let's grab all that, delete bones delete bones. So now we've got just the face. I now select this mesh and let's go add armature. And we call this armature. And now we come into the face. We come down into the shape keys, go down to the bottom where it says open mouth. We come on, right click clear frames, right click, add driver is a variable. No, we're after a single property of armature of jaw. Nope, 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 nope. Hang on. Single property? Transform channel. There we go. Um, jaw jaw root and we want Z rotation local I believe and so now if we scrub through it we can see that this value is going up and down which is exactly what we want And so I, sh I need to do it with both the eyes as well, looking left and right. That's fine. That's a future Marco problem. Um, now let's go Control S. File, Import, FBX. No, BVH. Sorry, sorry. File, Import, BVH. So now we're importing the motion tracking file. like on files. What are we doing? We're doing scene eight. I think this... Uh, okay, just stop. When's it safe for me to go outside? Oh, huh, cool. Enough time for a sandwich. Would you like one? Okay, whoops. Hang on, stop. So enough time for a sandwich. I think that's scene eight. Scene eight, scene eight, scene ten. That's nine. This is eight. Okay, so scene nine, scene eight, sandwich. There's no food in here. Beautiful, that's scene eight. So let's go one, two, three, four. Motion. Four A. Oh yeah, because that's in two points. Ah, oh, dang nabbit. Okay, that's fine. Um, what are we calling this? Did 
did I just stuff up? Yeah, I did. I brought in the wrong one. Sorry, let's go file import. Sorry, I can't see your comments at the moment if there are any because I got the other screen up. Um, copy. And this one is, can I import to, oh, that sucks. I oh, know that should be fine. I'll deal with it. Okay, control V scene eight A. Scale FPS. Update scene duration. I think, yes, that's what we need. So if you don't turn off scale, if you don't turn on scale FPS, it's going to import it at some weird FPS. Um, so yeah, that's an important thing. I didn't know about that. Import. Okay, that was weird. Um, the thing with Glycon as well is that it try and calculate it tries to calculate where your body body is. So you'll see that this is a weird effect. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I was gonna say it's not meant to be standing up. So from here what I can do is using Auto Rig Pro again, link in the description if you really want it. I can select our BVH file, I can select our rig. Because our BVH file has the names of the uh, Mixamo rig, which makes life a lot easier, I can come in down into mapping presets, select our mapping preset, uh, go into our presets, downloads, remap presets, FK, import, and now I can retarget. Uh, let me just go back to the chat. All right, there we go. Okay, let's have a look. Um, hey, fun joke gang. You got a joke for me. Sorry, mate, I missed the last half hour. Is there an auto rig? It sure is. That's what I've been using. Okay, fun joke gang. Really impressed. You can re-rig the characters with the add-on. I know, it is pretty schmick. Um, so yeah, you can import a character obviously without a rig, but I just keep the rig there just so I can click and make stuff happen quicker. Come on. Did I press OK? I'm pretty sure I pressed OK. Did I save it? There we go. All right. So you can see these. <laughs> it's a little bit drunk. Um, but once again, i got to come in and this is part of the cleaning up. All right. Let's come. I can't remember what the lines are. So let's come in and select video sequencer. Let's go back to the start. Well, actually, no, it's a little bit in. Okay, let's add a sound clip. Oh, sound, I'm getting tired. Audio, and we're doing Ryan's audio scene eight. Let's select that, press N, mono, draw the waveform. Let's come into playback and auto scrubbing so I can uh, it, uh, just move uh, it around. Good day, welcome to Australia, welcome. Hey buddy, how you doing? All right. So now the question is, is trying to line it up, trying to line up the audio with the actions. I know it's this bit kind of sucks because when I'm doing the physical motion capture, I can't actually record audio, but I've just thought of a way I probably should have done it. Future market is a problem. Okay, terraforming started, stop. When's it safe to go outside? So we're looking for kind of like a hand motion. Probably there. Stop. Okay. G. So let's just press play. Uh, okay, just stop. When's it safe for me to go outside? Oh, huh, cool. Enough time for a sandwich. Would you like one? Okay. Would you like one? So what's that? That's... I said it too early. Oh, did I actually start this on time? Uh, okay, just stop. When's it safe for me to go outside? Oh, huh, cool. Enough time for a sandwich. Would you like one? And then this bit, and then it goes into the second section. There is no food in here. 
Why was I not provisioned with all the required resources? That was weird. Oh, because it's a different BVH file. Uh, okay, that's okay. fine. Just stop. When's it safe for me to go outside? Oh, cool. Enough time for a sandwich. Would you like one? Mm -hmm. So yeah, now this is the yuck bit. Just kind of working this out. So let's go into the graph editor. Let's select our objects. So I'm not going to remove here. And let's come into... That's the wrong. Let's go into jaw. Fire out. I'm going to do this. Because the audio is sitting in the right spot. Let me just check that the audio is in the right spot. I'm pretty sure the audio is in the right spot. Uh, video sequencer. Holding control mouse wheel. I can kind of scale it up. What we'll do is we will select this rig here, which is the face. I want to have a look at the jaw. So if we go into pose mode, this is the jaw. Well, that's a little bit weird. Ah, so if I now, that's what I got to do. I got to select everything. And then I press clean, clean frames come into frame one delete that frame and that'll delete everything else I hate you let's select everything clean frames you're gonna do it again nope you're not jerk and if I now press just this I've only got the one bone no I don't why do I not come on fine I must have done something Let's select all these. Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh, you suck. Okay, I'm just going to find this jaw. Okay, jaw. Sorry, I'm trying to work around this. You are the jawbone. Why are you not appearing jawbone? Jaw? Facial bone. You're there. jaw there we go and so what i can do is i need to get all the information from the z axis because the z axis is what it's rotating on so let's select that and i can pre press the period key on the num key and then we can see so this is how we can line up the audio uh okay just well actually stop. no i don't need to line up the audio i need to line up the motion capture data Flippin Muppet. Okay, let's go back. Let's work backwards. Go to modeling. Uh, okay, just stop. When, okay, just stop. When's it safe for me to go outside? Um, did I do no sync? No, I need frame dropping. Uh, okay, just stop. When's it safe for me to go outside? Oh, cool. Enough time for a sandwich. Would you like one? So this bit here, that there needs to be, would you like one? So let's go like so. Oops. Probably here. Cool. Enough time for a sandwich. Would you like one? Nope. Come on, go back. Let's move this like so. Would you like one? There we go. That's where it needs to be. So that means the audio clip, where is the audio clip sitting on? What frame? You don't want to let me know. Mm. So let's move it the wrong way. So seven frames. So that means I got to go into the face here. So I'm just trying to work this out backwards. I'm trying to problem solve. So we select all this. Select all this, G minus seven, cool beans. Then we go into object mode. We select this, select everything, G minus seven, because the facial stuff is on the actual body. And so now if we go into layout, 
Uh, okay, just stop. When's it safe for me to go outside? Huh, cool. Enough time for a sandwich. Would you like one? Okay, I think that's... Uh, okay, just stop. When's it safe for me to go outside? I'll fix that up, because... Is it safe for me to go outside? Huh, cool. Enough time for a sandwich. Would you like one? That doesn't seem right. Um, hang on, that's probably going to annoy. Ah, oh, no, actually, I'll leave that audio there just going. Yeah, that audio's off. There is no food. Why? Why was I not provisioned with all the required resources? Mm. It's okay, it's okay. You need to mind up. I'm with this. What? Tell us what you're trying to do. Hello. Hey, Gekka, this is for you, buddy. Hang on. Oops. Um, let's go out to uh, okay, just stop. two thousand frames. It safe for me. Sort of sense of humor. You should try it again. Mm. Hello, Planty. Mm. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay. Some. Uh, okay. Just stop. When's it safe for me to go outside? Huh. Cool. Enough time for a sandwich. Would you like one? Mm. Look, I'm fairly happy with that. But anyway. So this is where I now got to go in and fix up all those frames. Um, let's now reposition this dude. Go Alt H to unhide everything. Let's come okay. back into this scene. I'm going to grab this section here. Let's go into pose mode and let's just move him around. Oops, G. Come on, buddy. Stop being a jerk. There we go. So he's kind of sitting there. And he's kind of he is in midair. But I mean, this is something that I can just move his feet to probably about here ish. Here ish. G, Y. Give him some mansplaining. Oops. Got to move him over into the console. Um, I now need to work on his body. Like I was saying, I got to just re um, position everything. And the way I'm going to do it is I'll con like, for instance, I'll grab this bone here, come into the graph editor animation into the graph. Let's just press dot. Really? Jaw. Oh, that's why. Cause I got jaw up there and I can press period key and we want to find colors I don't know why we've got these colors but anyway we will go on the let's try on that one and I will go G Y so it's not that one and the reason why I'm selecting everything that's really annoying G Y uh, uh, okay, just stop. When's it safe for me to go outside? Let's probably grab this. Okay, I. Oh, excellent. Let's go up here and press I. So, what I can do here is I can rotate XX, kind of rotate him forward a little bit, probably rotate. Dang it, can't do rotate. What's that one? Uh, okay, just stop. Probably let's grab this one and we'll rotate him forward. Anyway, you know what? Oh, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to do this all offline because it's probably going to start getting boring doing all this stuff. Um, what I will say is thank you very much for, for coming. Oh, it's 11.30. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Keeps you up to date with my content. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a question down below. Please like the video. Try and get my stats up trying to hit 25,000 by the end of the year I am 
off target at the moment, which is very unfortunate. Um, but who knows, maybe once this film comes out, it might boost it up a little bit. Um, does anyone have any final questions is the question. Don't be shy. Just before we finish up. Not boring. Good watch for hours. I can't watch for hours. <laughs> and I gotta do this. Uh, what was this? Nope. All right, cool beans. I'll leave it at that. Um, and yeah, uh, till next time. Thank you very much, guys. Adios. <laughs> yeah. We, we'll, yeah. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll have a whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, uh, I'll see you guys then.